Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hi guys and welcome to another Fool of the Week. This week's Fool is former Home Secretary David Blunkett. Now generally Fool of the Week is in response to some stupid statement from somebody I have very little respect for. Low hanging fruit if you will. But this time it's from somebody I actually respect, that being Lord or David Blunkett. Now he was Home Secretary under Tony Blair from 2001 to 2004. Why is he Fool of the Week? Well, considering that he has no skin in the game and he doesn't benefit directly from pushing false narratives, he demonstrated terrible judgment when he appeared on the Politics Live show a few days ago and said this. Um, David, first of all, should Labour be supporting this use of the Section 35, this ability for the UK government to block this bill on the basis, as Alistair Jack, the Secretary of State for Scotland, says, it, it would undermine equalities legislation? Well, we put Section 35 in the Scotland Act. <laughs> I know. Uh, there's no point in putting something in an act ah. if you don't, never expect... But was this to, the right point to use If you never expect it? to use... Well, I, I happen to think on this issue, very uh, complex issue, that it was right to use Section yes. 35. Okay. I'm sick and tired of identity politics. Yeah. I'm yeah, sick yeah, of yeah. having to debate it over and over again. We need respect. We need genuine equality. And we need people to apologise like Lloyd Russell Moyle did for the outburst against you, Mariam, because actually you were expressing a perfectly reasonable point of view. There's a guy called Adam Graham, or he was Adam Graham, who a two-time rapist who yeah. decided to trance and could end up in a in women's a prison, prison. Yeah. in Scotland. This is just not acceptable. All right, well, just that's the reality. Not well, acceptable. That's the reality. And then we have this. This issue comes at a time when there's a debate about the Scottish Government's gender recognition reforms, now blocked by the UK Government. Well, as Katrina was just saying, this case comes at the time, of course, when Scotland's gender reforms are under the spotlight. Um, Lindsay, just try and put all this in context for us. Now, to be clear, that legislation wouldn't change the prison service's approach when it comes to where to house a trans prisoner. And that is because, as we've just heard, that's done on a case-by-case -case basis, regardless of whether that prisoner has a gender recognition certificate or not. And there we have it. So it's up to the courts to decide. It's not the government that's deciding. So the government can issue these certificates, but they have zero impact on a, on a, on a ruling by a judge. Or a, the prison. The prison service will decide. So you have a former Home Secretary, David Blunkett, pushing a narrative... Look, I've said before... I don't believe he can benefit in some way. He's not like a Tory MP who's pushing something because he, it benefits his party or a Labour MP who's pushing this because it benefits that politician and because they're hoping to win back their seat. He's a member of the House of Lords. He's untouchable. Why is he saying this? The only conclusion I can come to is because he doesn't understand. Now, I hope... After seeing this, uh, not my video, obviously, but um, the report from the BBC Scotland, he'll take this back and say, actually, I was wrong. This has zero impact on decisions made by the prison service. It's never had an, an influence. It's never had an impact and it won't have an impact. Now, I'm not arguing about where this person should go. I'm talking about the narrative here. You have politicians and media commentators Telling lies. When it, as we've heard in this report from the BBC, and this is a real problem, I think. BBC Scotland, who's going to see that? Who has seen that report from BBC Scotland? Very few people. Very few people in Scotland and very few people in the United Kingdom. Tucked away there, and it will probably never see the light of day apart from what you saw, you know, from the BBC in Scotland and on this channel. But this narrative will remain that this, this individual is going to be sent into a women's prison and there's nothing the government can do about it, which is, is a pile of crap. The prison service will decide, and the prison service has decided in the past on a case-by-case -case basis. Nothing to do with 
Section 35, nothing to do with the Scottish government. And that's why he's fool of the week. He should know better. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think, and I'll see you next time for our next fool of the week.